So we've already established that most of you are interested in eating fewer animal products. But you also mentioned that you don't just want more recipes for salad, you want vegetable alternatives for recipes that traditionally contain meat, like a burger. And here in the test kitchen, we never shy away from a good challenge. So today, Becky's not just gonna show us how to make a veggie burger, she's gonna show us how to make the ultimate veggie burger. You know, there are so many bad veggie burgers Oh, there, out there really are, at the supermarket, even at restaurants. So we took a look at the recipe. This one is so good, you're not gonna believe it. It really is one of my favorite recipes, All right. truly. We're gonna start the veggie burger with bulgur. Now, bulgur is made by taking whole wheat kernels, par cooking them, drying them out, and then grinding it up. And what you end up with is a super nutritious, quick cooking grain. And it has texture. That's right, this is a medium grind, so not super fine, not super coarse either. This is what you'll find in most supermarkets. So we have two thirds of a cup of bulgur here, and I'm just gonna give it a quick rinse to rinse away any starch. Now it really just needs to hydrate because it's been pre-cooked. So I have one and a half cups of boiling water here, I'm adding half teaspoon of salt, and I just turned off the heat because we just need to let this sit for 15 or 20 minutes, and these grains will hydrate and turn tender. Put the lid on, we'll let that sit 15 to 20 minutes. Sounds good. So before we mix up our burger, I thought we would make a really nice sauce to put on top. Ooh, I like burger sauces. All about the toppings, yeah, right? Yeah, kind of is. Yeah. So we're starting with three quarters of a cup of vegan mayo, and I'm adding two tablespoons of soy sauce, tablespoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon of brown sugar, just for a little bit of sweetness, one garlic clove minced up, tablespoon of fresh chives, and three quarters of a teaspoon of pepper. So I'll just whisk that up, and this is gonna make a really nice flavorful sauce for our burgers. Well, there's a lot of meaty ingredients in there. We have soy sauce, Worcestershire, yep, a little brown right. sugar. Oh yeah, a little sweet, a little bit salty. I could almost eat this straight from the bowl. <laughs> so it's been 20 minutes. Let's take a peek at our bulgur. Nice and fluffed up. There might be a little bit of liquid left in the bottom, so we'll just drain that off. And now we'll spread it onto this sheet pan here to cool down. We'll let that be for a couple minutes while we move on to our other ingredients. All right. I have a big beet here. I see that. Isn't that unusual for a veggie burger? <laughs> it is. It's going to make the burger kind of red. So I'm going to put on a glove here so yeah. my hands don't get completely stained. Because that beet's raw. That's right. You can shred the beet with a handheld grater or you can do it on the shredding disc of a food processor. And I like how you wore a glove because getting beet stains off your hand is really hard. We have found that whitening toothpaste does a pretty good job of getting it off. Very good. I'm gonna put this into the food processor. So grating it before processing it just ensures that all the pieces get nice and fine. Yeah, you know, a beet is really hard. Now I'm gonna add some walnuts, three quarters of a cup. They're gonna add a nice nuttiness, of course, also some protein. And I have a half a cup of fresh basil. The basil really complements the sweet earthiness of the beets. In goes two garlic cloves. Okay, so I'm going to pulse this up about 12 times. I want it to get pretty fine. That is looking pretty good. You can see everything's chopped up nice and fine. All right, let's add some more stuff. That's a can of pinto beans that's been rinsed and drained. Now, this is an unusual ingredient. Do you know what that is? It's a jar of baby food. That's right. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> that's carrot baby food, and it's kind of sticky and tacky, and it really helps to hold the burgers together. <laughs> so let's put the whole jar in. Now, a tablespoon of grainy mustard, just to give it a little kick. Two tablespoons of water, just to loosen things up and one and a half teaspoons of salt, and half teaspoon of pepper. All right, now we'll pulse this up about eight times. Put this in a bowl. All right, now I have one and a half cups of panko breadcrumbs. These are those Japanese breadcrumbs. They have a lot of texture to them. When we fry the burgers, they're gonna get a nice crispy coating on the outside. And it's probably a good binder to help absorb some of that moisture. Now, Becky, I have to say, your vegetarian burger is looking a little bit like ground beef at this point. It looks a lot like ground beef. It's a little cheeky. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now, last but not least, we're going to add in our bulgur, and then we'll get that completely mixed. That's a big bowl of mix, so it makes a lot of burgers. This is going to make eight burgers, and they freeze beautifully. Freeze them uncooked. I would put them between pieces of parchment paper, put them in a Ziploc lock bag. Looks like really fresh ground beef. Is it making you hungry? It is. <laughs> it's making me hungry. So we want eight patties. So my little trick, my way of doing this is just to kind of divide the bowl into four quadrants here. And then I can divide each one in half like that. So my hands will get a little bit pink from forming the actual burgers, but not as bad as if I were to handle the raw beet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. And you can see this burger mix holds together really, really nicely. Look at that. I've made so many recipes for vegan burgers where they're super crumbly. You can hardly get them together into a patty. Or they crumble apart when you cook them. That's right. So this is really, really nice. 
Actually, you want to measure that for me? Sure. Should be about three and a half inches. How did I do? Nailed it. That looks <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to make seven more, and then we'll come back and we'll cook these. That was easy. Very easy. All right, so our burgers are ready. Let's they look perfect. I know. Aren't they gorgeous? They are. I have three tablespoons of oil heating over medium-high heat here, and we'll fry up four at a time. We're going to cook these for four minutes until they get nice and brown and crusty on one side. Then we'll flip them over. All right. So it's been four minutes. And they really soaked up that oil. Yeah, they did. You can actually add a little bit more oil if you find that they're soaking it up. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. isn't that beautiful? Nice and golden. Oh, perfect. And I really like how they're holding together, unlike a lot of the other vegan burger recipes we tried. Just gonna add a little bit more oil so they get nice and brown on that second side. So it's been another four minutes. And with a meat burger, you have to take the temperature, of course, to know that it's done. With these, we're really just warming them through it. That's right. There's not even any egg in there that we need to cook through. These are completely vegan. Exactly. So we just need to get that nice brown crust, which I think we have on the second side. Oh, yeah, we do. I'm putting these on a wire rack. I'm going to keep them warm in a 200 degree oven. Then I'll wipe out the skillet and cook the other four just like we did these. All right, so I finished up all eight burgers. They're beautiful. Ooh, I'm so excited. Now we get to eat. <laughs> Can I build your burger for you? Please. OK, so here's that yummy pub sauce that we made. Mm. Do you like a lot of sauce? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do too. So a little bit of arugula for some nice color. Let's put the burgers on next. OK. Now here I have some pickled radishes. Mm. This will give a nice crunch on top. And finally, I have some fried onion rings. Oh, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of onion. For recipes for both the pickled radishes and the fried onions, check out our website at americastestkitchen.com. It is gorgeous. I can't wait. I have to agree with you. Mm. <laughs> That's delicious. That's a serious burger, right? The beets add a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. Sweet, earthy. You got a little bit of nuttiness, and then the basil comes through. Mm -hmm. I love that pub sauce. It really gives it a hearty, meaty flavor. Yeah, makes it nice and moist. You get all the crunch, all the different textures. Becky, this is really good. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. For the ultimate vegan burger, start with bulgur. Then process raw shredded beets and a few other flavorings with pinto beans and a jar of carrot baby food. Make patties, fry them up in a pan, and serve with a delicious sauce. From our test kitchen to your kitchen, a game-changing recipe for pinto bean beet burgers. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.